it on? Yeah. Hi guys! Welcome to Three Princess Home Decor and More. We are trying to figure this out. We got our Amiibo this week and we are in the middle of trying to get it all set up. So if you give me just a moment while we uh, get this video going. We go. It looks like we're starting to come on. So we totally don't know anything about this camera system. I'm going to tell you, we're flying blind tonight. Hi, Pops. Hi, Jody. Good to see you. Haven't seen you all weekend. Hi, Anastasia. So nice to see you guys. Okay, so I'm going to let you know. We are so messed up when it comes to this camera system. We have no clue of anything we're doing. So please bear with us. If you will, please uh, click on and say, you know, hi, so I can get your comments. Otherwise, your comments won't start coming through. It's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, let me know that you guys are here. Like I said, we're using this new camera system, Amiibo. We have no idea. We've played with it a little bit, but we haven't had much time today to do it. So, while that's going, hi, Anastasia, darling. Um, we are going to, um, I'm going to start spreading out my wreath frame here. And I really, oh, looks like we're on an angle. And I know that we are. We're trying to figure out how to do the height and stuff on this. So I apologize that we're a little bit crooked today. But you guys are going to get to see a little bit more of my workspace, which is really good. And then um, I'm sure by the next by the next live on uh, on Monday, or sorry, Wednesday, um, we will be in a better spot. So um, we'll know a little bit more about it because we've played with it more. We are having fun tonight. We are doing our Harry Potter um, Slytherin wreath tonight, which will be so much fun. And so I'm getting my glue pot going here. I don't know if you guys can see the glue pot because it's kind of down a low, but that's okay. So I'm getting my glue pot going here. Um, a little bit different too. You can see the whole entire room, which I'm like, never have a messy room. Um, but there's going to be, you know, we like I said, we're going to work through these changes with this. I hope you guys have better sound. I, oh. And the dog. You can see my dog. Yeah, there he is. He's awake, though. Eyes are open. Um, his name, you know, Captain Jack, he's alive at least today. Um, so, like I said, we're working through some of these things. If you can, do me a favor. Please share this video out. Um, give us some love. Share us. Share us out to everybody. That would be wonderful. Uh, we are in desperate need of some help tonight. We... We missed sending out our live um, updater because we were playing with the camera. So, <laughs> hi Dee Dee, good to see you tonight. So Dee Dee, I was letting everybody know that we have a new camera system, so we are working it. And um, it's really weird because I can't see myself when I'm talking to you guys because it's the Mevo and it's beautiful and wonderful. So we're, we're trying to figure it out and it will zoom in on my craft space, which will be amazing for you guys so you can see a little bit better. But just bear with us because we're going to be working out different angles as it goes along. Um, the good thing is, is that when I do get it completely worked out, we'll be able to use it for um, even when we're going to do the stand-ups and everything. Yes, please cat, get Cat off of YouTube, Anastasia. But anyway, so we will be looking at different angles for the next week or so. So I apologize. I appreciate you guys working with me as we get this camera system figured out. Um, so I've got... Hi Carter, I've got Techie Tyler here with me tonight. He is here to help me with my live, as always. Um, tonight we're gonna do kind of a bubble wreath. Um, it's not really called a bubble, it's called the poop. And I don't know if you guys got to see the sign. Not the sign, let me just start over here. 12 inches on that funky one there, the big one, that one. Yeah, and I don't know about that one yet. So this is going to be our Which fun one? sign tonight. Hi, Kat. Thank you for getting off of YouTube. Um, we're going to do Slytherin tonight, and I'm wearing my shirt. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says, She Who Shall Not Be Named. Now, this is my shirt. I'm all about Voldemort. I know that sounds weird, but I'm all about villains. So uh, this is Lord Voldemort's shirt, of course, um, but it's, of course, for me. I made this shirt when we went to Universal Studios because we're all Harry Potter fans in our house. So um, we had several different people with different shirts, and this one's mine. And so I was like, what better night to wear it than when I'm doing Harry Potter stuff? Yeah, 12, -ish, 12 inches. So um, 
Oops, I do them like a little bit longer, maybe 13. No, that was going to be scissors. Um, sorry, I've got my little, <laughs> I've got my uh, little techie guy over here to help me out. So you guys saw, probably saw the ribbons. Oh, there's my hubby. Look at these fun snakes. So my oldest boy today was painting snakes for me. This is what he was doing. He was painting snakes because they were diff I needed different colored snakes, of course, for the Slytherin one. So he was out painting a bunch of snakes for me today. First, we had to find the snakes because I needed them. I needed snakes. So I got the oldest to be um, painting snakes today. But we're going to start off with this fun white work frame. I love the work frames. I told you that. Oh, <laughs> Anastasia, you love Luna, huh? Well, Luna is pretty fun, but I, I'm i a villain person. I'm just going to tell you, I'm a villain person. You know I love the Evil Queen, and I love Voldemort. So, hi, Marty. Good to see you. Um, today's a decent day in pain-wise. I've had a, I've had a, uh, some rest today. I've had a good day with my one, with my oldest boy. Um, <laughs> I, I only, um, have just kind of been resting and been hanging out with my oldest boy today and my granddaughter. It's been kind of nice. My oldest has been helping me a lot today. Um, my husband's been gone. He had some stuff to do. So, um, I had the help of my oldest. And so Techie Tyler, um, is doing my ribbons and stuff because we didn't get to everything. <laughs> oh, you've been telling your mom I was live in 30 and counting it down. You're so funny. You're so funny. Thanks for all your support, ladies. So right here, I'm going to tell you guys, we're going to do a 10 inch, or sorry, 8 inch poof on the inner, on the inside. And go ahead and zoom in. We're going to show you where I'm at on the workspace. So it'll help you a little bit more. So give me just a second. I didn't zoom. Wow. Maybe. There we go. Looks like, oh, there we go. Guys, look how amazing this is. Okay. It just takes a minute. So right here, we're going to do an eight inch poof right here. Right about there. We're going to do the same thing as we've been doing, except with the work frame, you know, we're just folding these in. I should have probably showed you that first. So I started off with a little bunch here. I'm just folding these in. I want to fold in the inner seams so that the uh, the seams are underneath. Then what we're doing is we're going to make the poofs. So like I said, 8 inch poofs. So we're going to go ahead and do this right here. You guys won't have to see my face so much anymore, which is a plus. Do me nine. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, Anastasia, you just spoke my words. The UK just got evil queen stuff. You know what I'm going to need. So thanks to Anastasia and her mom. Um, they got us this lovely sign. I'm sure you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Um, that's where it came. It's from the UK. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, tonight we are working on our, um, let me look at there right there. We are working on this nice Slytherin wreath. You can't, I can't see you. Hi folks. No. My lovely husband just walked in, but you can't see him because it's zoomed in on my project. See right there. I'll zoom out real fast. You want to see I can just do this. No. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't you get you. I got you now. Oh, and then he walked away. Uh, take that headband off. What? <laughs> My husband's been working hard today with his mother. So I am just rolling those seams up underneath, guys, and putting those in. Oops, sorry. Wow, I love how that camera works. It's pretty amazing. I have this amazing guy that bought us this camera. Yep, you can see my dork husband there. He just come in. Um, what? <laughs> what guy? What guy are you talking about? I have this amazing guy that bought it. I don't know 
why you don't get Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff either. I'm so bummed about it. But if whatever we can get, if I need to, I can make my own. I hope that you guys are getting good sound from us too. Um, please let me know if you don't. If you're not getting good sound, please let us know because I definitely want to make sure that you guys are hearing us well. This new camera also has its own um, microphone on it. And it's supposed to be better and it's supposed to be a clearer picture. So please, guys, if you don't have... If you're not getting it, please let me know. Yeah, can we share us out? Can you? Oh, on yours you can, huh? Okay. And so we're just working on poofs here, guys. I don't know if you're seeing the poofs. I apologize. Poofs are a little bit harder on my arm. So I'm just going to warn you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it still going? Mm-hmm having an issue right there there we go perfect sound all the way there good deal okay sorry my phone, my tablet started telling me something crazy so um trying to figure out how to get like everything situated guys i apologize it's really hard kind of to do the poofs with this arm but i'm gonna do it we're gonna do it yeah yeah anastasia i said the poops <laughs> no i said the poofs Poof. Um, <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter. No. Um, so we are doing the poofs here tonight on this lovely, lovely wreath. I am so excited to do this wreath. So yes, I decided to do the silver underneath, the gray um, poofs underneath to kind of fill it in. I'm using a white work frame, and the reason I'm using a white work frame is because I really wanted to... Um, lighten it up a little bit because there's going to be a lot of green and white and silver on it and we all know Slytherins they are uh, green white and silver um so anybody that can share me please share me we are just poofing it out as I put this on you can't stop laughing because you thought I said the poops that's too funny too too funny too too funny guys Okay, guys, so <laughs> it's, it is 1 o'clock in the morning, I know. It's 1 o'clock in the morning for you. So right here, I am just doing the, um, I'm trying to get this to where the seams are up underneath. I really like to keep the seams inside of this so that it makes the poofs look so much better. Eight inch on the inside, guys. We're going to be doing 10 inch on the outside. <laughs> If anybody needs to talk about poops, that would be with my husband. He works for a rotor service. <laughs> my accent. I have an accent? Um, that's that one. Mm -hmm. I have an accent? Weird. I didn't know I had an accent. They're British, so us I know. are weird. We could stop talking like you guys, because I do that quite often, especially with me, um, with my kids. <laughs> I know that sounds silly. That was dumb. But anyway, looks sneaky, huh? So we're going to have a lot of different, um, <laughs> I have an accent. Cat says, hmm, going to have to start doing some like lives with just between them and see between Cat and Anastasia and see uh, what their accents are. So I'm going slow, guys, because this, um, like I said, this one's a little bit harder on this bad arm I have on this rotator cuff. I have to be really, really careful with my arm itself. It um, really, poofs are a little tougher. <laughs> oh, see, they play around and talk different languages too, huh? We do it all the time because it's fun. Uh it's, it's just a lot of fun. We we think we're funny and that we're being Mary Poppins. So, we just think we're funny. Talks to the Queen. I love the Queen. I do. I know that sounds terrible, but I love the Queen. Some people don't like the Queen. I love the Queen. Here. 
So, uh, and I also don't know how well you guys have the, uh, how well your the microphone is for you. So if you hear background noise, like my husband who just was talking, you might have heard him in the background. Um, like I said, I don't know how great this can this microphone is, but it's supposed to be wonderful. You're still my scissors? Where's Annika? Mm -hmm. See, I just automatically. <laughs> Confuse people. Who has an accent? My husband has an accent too. I think we all have one. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to work on it. <laughs> so I am doing the poofs, like I said, guys, and I apologize. I'm having a hard time. Um, getting the poofs going on this one, I don't, sometimes it work. it's hard. I think it's cause my, my stuff got ripped around the backwards. Oh my goodness, I'll take that out. Got lots of, lots of, uh, mesh there that's giving me a hard time. It's funny because I know what happened and then I see it on delay on, on the Facebook Live as I'm trying to watch it through my tablet, cracking me up. So this work frame's a little bit easier, a lot less stiff than the other one I was using uh, last time. Is it all gone? That's right, I love a challenge, Anastasia, we know this. So giving myself a challenge here. Hold on one moment while I give Mr. Jody. Jody. Good to see you. You're not seeing me, my face so much because we were trying out our new cameras, but we're just showing how we're doing the poofs in the white work form. And we're gonna do, we're doing this fun, 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 fun slither and wreath tonight. Thanks to Anastasia for getting us this beautiful sign from the United Kingdom. Hey, Allie, have you ever seen Pina Colada Oreos anywhere? I have a special request for Pina Colada Oreos. I'm not sure if, uh, if you've seen them, but you'd be the person to ask. They could help me find something different. Okay, so I'm getting that center done, if you guys can see. The center's coming out kind of pretty. And I don't mind that the white ties are working out. They have them at our store? <laughs> of course, Kat, she asked me. I'm fine with that. I've never seen them, but I haven't been at the store today, so I will check um, when, uh, when I have one of my kids checking when they're at the store. Um, of course. They do sell them? Okay. Well, I need a few packages then. Not for me. <laughs> Walmart and Harmons. Walmart and Harmons. You're so good. Thanks, Allie. I knew you'd know. Allie's into this different stuff. Yeah. So my, my friend Anastasia that's over in the United Kingdom wanted some and somebody wanted to charge her $19 for them to send them over there. And I'm like, no, we send things back and forth. So yeah, we'll figure it out. Who cares? I'm not charging $19 for a package of Oreos. That's just, that's just highway robbery. Okay guys, so we've got the whole center done. And I love that the white's poking through, because like I said, it's gonna give it some color. 
it's going to brighten up this darkness because we're going to have some darkness. Lord Voldemort gives us darkness for House Slytherin. So, we are continuing with the poofs. Limited quality quantities. Ooh, Allie, if you, catch, if you run into them before I do, I'll let you know if I get them. But if you get them before I do, if you see them before I do, will you pick them up for me, please? And I will definitely pay you back. Um, Allie is my nephew's wife, so she's my niece. And I know she knew the, she'd know the, the strange stuff. <laughs> she likes different good flavors. So I hope you're seeing what I'm doing here. I hope that this has given you a better view of what we're doing. We're gonna need to shut the blind here in a second. I'm going around. Oh yes, no problem, Anastasia. Like I said, whatever you need, my friend, just let me know. Or if your moms want me to send her some mesh, I'll send her some mesh. So Allie, Anastasia is the one that I get all those beautiful Harry Potter purses from and things like that, or signs or all the cool stuff that comes out of the UK. It's Anastasia that I get a lot of it from, sometimes Lisa and Kat. They all help me out here. They know what's they know what I'm looking for. So I'm just turning this to get us some more. I know. <laughs> I'm turning this. <laughs> no, I like to be the cool aunt that gets the cool stuff. <laughs> Allie, you should tell them about your Moana cup. So Allie got a Moana cup that I made. She loves Moana. Nope, they're, I guess the Kinder Eggs are still, um, they are still banned from the U.S. What are those? I've never seen them. They're the chocolate eggs with the little creeper inside of them, but here they're differently called. Oh, I guess they're still banned. Kinder Eggs got banned. I don't know why. Because probably kids were choking on them. What's the next one? Um, let's see. You did that on that one? Um, let's do a little bit of this silver. You knew me as the sign lady, lady forever, I know, cat. Isn't that funny? And now, now she gets it. And she's like, now I know what she's doing. Yeah, that's way too much for Oreos. Ooh, you get Disney Kinder Eggs, huh? Oh, interesting. How much are they? No, how much? Oh, are they? nine. I thought Tyler just asked me how much they were. I was like, what? Okay, guys, are you seeing this? Oh, let me close that real quick. We're going to close the blind. It looks like it's giving me some havoc. So this week while I was, uh, what was I doing? I was somewhere. I don't know where I was. I think I was at an appointment. My husband lovely man that he is, um, that man got a light for our room. He put in spotlights for this room for our lives, make it better. Um, you did see them at Harmon's good. That's funny that they let them through. Well, they probably don't see what's in there. They don't look at them better, very well, I bet, Anastasia. Um, yeah, if you do see them, Allie, will you grab them for me, though? One way or the other, grab a couple of packages at least. I 
I'll have them for you. Hi, Cynthia. It's nice to see you get on tonight. So you're not seeing my face? Cynthia, lucky you. <laughs> Nobody's seeing my face tonight. No, we, we had my face on for a little bit, but we are zoomed in on the project, which tonight is going to be this fun Harry Potter. Oh, really, Allie? I bet you I know someone that can get me some. Maybe. So I am just rolling this uh, awesome. I love this. It's like a really pretty gray. Hey guys, if you're on there, um, Miss Cynthia, can you please share us out? We're using our new camera system and it's kind of got us tied up in our sharing tonight and, sh and posting. So if you can help me out with sharing, that would be fabulous because I am, um, we are missing a link somewhere. We don't know what we're supposed to, how we're supposed to make it work because we just got this new camera. So if you could, it didn't post the same way as it always does. Oopsie. Glue, 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 glue. Oh. Hi, Jessica. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Share us out there, please, darling. And I know your sister Chantel sent me a customer the other day. Tell her thank you so much. No, I need the green. Oh, what did you just do with the green? Check on my shirt right there. You had it. Oh. You had it. And it doesn't. Like 14 inch pieces, I think. Uh, 15 inch. Jessica, if you could help us share us out, thank you. And so, guys, like I said, we got this new camera system and it's showing um, my work. We're zoomed in. It's going decent today. Jessica, thank you for asking. We are working on a fun Slytherin wreath. I'm going to be probably standing up here in a minute because I can feel the burn in my back already. So we will be standing up here in just a minute with that pain. Uh-oh. Everybody's still doing okay? Everybody's still seeing? Looks like we're still live. Um, yeah. I'm hopeful we're still live. We had one of our people that fell off so that they lost their feed, so I'm a little concerned. Can you open that one? Okay, so this is 36. Mm -hmm. So 21. Can you not hear me at all, Cynthia? Everybody else, can you hear me? You're hearing okay? Okay, so we have this new camera. And so, um, okay, good. Turned it down more. It's in the oven on the Okay. Can you get us some ice water? Sorry guys, I'm dying here. In the kitchen, I washed it. So, um, thank you guys. It's kind of hard to tell with this new camera system. So thank you, thank you for bearing with me. I appreciate it. Very soft voice. Good to know. Okay, I will speak up and be a jerk. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So guys, like I said, we've got a new spotlight on the projects, which I think that it's kind of off. It's offset a little bit because we had it spotted on a different spot and then we got the camera in a different place. So bear with us as we try to get through these kind of things. But it's kind of cool because we got our new camera system. It's zoomed in on our project. Makes me so happy. So you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I hope you can see it. I should have thought about turning it around a little bit better than that. So you guys can see. All I'm doing is making eight inch poofs on this. I was gonna do longer, but it looks like that I'm running low in my, my mesh. You can see Techie Tyler on the side of me. He's over there cutting out the green for me because like I said, we were, did not get 100% prep today. I thought I was going to be. Just didn't happen. So today we were talking with, uh, I was spending the day with my son, my oldest, uh, Cody, my 27 year old, and my granddaughter. <laughs> and 
Um, so I spent some time with them, with my little Crystal and my son, and just kind of got to talk to my oldest for a while. We never get much time that we just get to talk, and it was so wonderful today to be able to do that. It was just great. And to, to learn some new things about him and, and to help him um, really work through some of his ambitions and stuff and things that he can do. Yes, he is the one that wanted the Gryffindor wreath. I don't know if you've seen him. I think you've seen him probably on my lives, yeah. He's, uh, he's also the dad to my three beautiful princesses. And yeah, he was on there, and or he was spending time with me today, and it was it was it was quite lovely, um, because we got a lot of time to just talk, and and uh, he kept, he painted my snakes today for me for my wreath, because he is all about Harry Potter. He is a Harry Potter fanatic. So sorry guys, I'm trying to fix this one section here. Um, he's a Harry Potter fanatic. And so he was definitely helping me out with getting it ready and stuff like that. And um, we just didn't get the cutting done. We totally kind of spaced it because we were talking about his dreams and things that he wants to do. And he's starting his own YouTube channel, which I think is fabulous. Um, he's quite funny. He's quite funny. Uh, we haven't gotten figured out all the particulars yet, but I just wanted you guys to know. I thought it was pretty funny and it was cool to see his eyes light up again. I haven't seen it in a long time. So it was pretty cool. I gotta take a sip real quick, guys. Oh, goodness. Get kind of hot. Okay. So, oh, he just barely made it. Can I hand me some of my greens? You can pull back for me and then just hand them up here. Just put them up here. Um, I would do. Go ahead and pan back out for a minute. I would do. Let's do like 15. So we're gonna pan back out here, guys, and I'm gonna show you. Yeah, it's nice. He actually lives with me, but I don't get a whole lot of time with him. He's always at work, or we just kind of spend. Don't get our our times are kind of opposite. He, um, he just, uh, it's just, he's older, he's a dad, and he's, you know, we just don't get a lot of time, just me and him. So, so guys, we're going to go into the green. If you see this, you can see this beautiful gray wreath so far, looking so good. Hope you guys can see that. Um, it's pretty awesome as it is, but I'm going to add to it. Now, this one's not going to be huge, huge. It's a smaller wreath form. But um, I think it would fit this one best right now. And we're going to go ahead and add the green in. And I apologize, guys. I can't tell where the camera is right now. It's weird. So um, I'm putting the green in. We're going to add the green into it. We're going to do a little bit of um, embellishing with this green. Then we're going to go in and add in that awesome sign as well as our snakes. We've got these snakes. All different colors of snakes, ribbons. I love this sign. This sign from the UK. Awesome. Thank you, Anastasia. Um, and so we're going to do the ruffle technique here with just the the 15 inch. So we did 15 inch pieces on the 10 inch mesh. We're going to do the normal ruffle that I do before. Mm, actually, I think I'm not going to do a ruffle. I'm going to do the curl. So that the curl, we're gonna do the curl technique. This one's just gonna be a little bit different. It's just rolling it with the with the grain, basically. So go in with the grain, make it a tube. See that tube? It's gonna make it a little sneaky looking. So I'm gonna do it again because I didn't get it as tight as I wanted it. So a little bit. Oh yeah, that honeyduke sign. I can't wait to do one with candy. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to get some little candy embellishments and stuff. So here is that little snaky looking thing. And I'm gonna put this rough edge down so that you don't see it. And we're gonna go ahead and put it right in to the same ties. 
And I'm actually opening up a tie, guys. I'm going to open up the tie that we used, and I'm going to go ahead and put this down in. And I hope that you can see it. I'm trying to turn a little bit more. It looks like Tyler got us back zoomed in, which is good. We're going to tie that one back in there. Ooh, I have a fun Dobby one I want to do. Um, in fact, one of those signs is just for me, for the house elf. But I'm going to do a fun Dobby one with socks. I thought it'd be so cute. Oh, sure. I definitely love to show you guys how I do stuff. Thanks, Cynthia. So, again, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to do it to where I roll in the rough edge. So you roll in the rough edge and you always want to do go with the grain, okay? So I'm going to show you again. I hopefully you guys can see it because it keeps on trying to roll up on me. So rolling in the rough edge here. You want to make sure it doesn't go on an angle. If it tries to start going on an angle, it'll go ski wampus on you and it'll look like um, a taquito. No. So you do the best to keep it even. And I kind of pop it down if I need to, but that one doesn't seem as tight as I want it. So I'm going to redo it. Oh yeah, kids socks would work perfectly. Maybe a book on it for Dobby. I don't know. I love Dobby and we call my little Crystal Dobby. So Crystal, our little baby, our newest princess, we call her Dobby all the time because her little cute ears and she's got the cutest little smile. So we call her Dobby all the time and we just love her to death. So I'm pulling this back over here guys. We're going to open the tie back up and I'm going to tell you, I've not been a fan of opening the ties up, ever. But one of my friends, one of my mentors, um, Tammy Hodges from Polka Dot Reef Co. She, um, I was watching her lives and she says it all the time and I've never been listening, I guess. I, I know she says it all the time and I guess I've never really paid attention to what she said. And she said, your ribbons and stuff lay much better if you open the tie back up and then do it. And so the other day when I was watching her and, and you know, helping her out with her live, just kind of like, I like to get on her live and, and watch her. She has wonderful techniques and wonderful um, business sense and everything like that. I also um, was paying attention and then I redid a piece I had on a wreath and I was like, she is so right. And so I've changed that and I'm opening up the ties now. So another thing, you know, another one right here, you learn from everybody. Everybody learns from each other. And that's, that's the best part of all of it. So I'm opening up my tie. I hope you guys can see that. I'm closing this back up with it in there. But I know I'm gonna put ribbon in, so I'm gonna end up opening that tie right back again. But you can already, already see how the green house colors are starting to come into effect. Now I might add more um, rolls in there, I might add more tubes into it. It's possible that I'm gonna put um, maybe a ruffle in there too and pop them both up. We'll see what comes out of this. I'm kind of excited when I get this ribbon on, so. I love this green. I think it's a beautiful green. And guys, you know, ask any questions you want where we're going. Um, I definitely help. Love you. Hi, Annette. Good to see you tonight. Thanks for joining us. It does. It does, the bits of color help it a lot, right Anastasia? Mm -hmm. So I'm showing you guys right here, I did the roll. And down in, hi Carrie. I thought you better be on because this is the Slytherin that you guys been wanting. So um, I'm just popping this down in there. So guys, we got a new camera system. Oh, I don't know what that was. It popped to you. <laughs> Um, we're doing Slytherin. If you guys can see my shirt, it says, She Who Shall Not Be Named. And it has uh, Lord Voldemort's uh, snake sign on it. Um, and I uh, made this shirt for myself a while ago. You love the mesh? The cup. Cynthia says, I love this mesh. The colors you always use are so vibrant. What's the name of the company again? Did anybody order the mesh from them too? Do you need to be in business to order from them? Cynthia, no. So this, the mesh that I get is from Craft Outlet, craftoutlet.com. It's all online ordering. They have the best mesh. The mesh is actually um, Kurt Bachman mesh. 
So if you've ever ordered through um, uh, Burton and Burton or um, BB Crafts, things like that, that's uh, the meshes that you're going to get, those high quality mesh. Um, once in a while I will use a mesh from Hobby Lobby, but it's got to be like a certain one. And um, But Craft Outlet has the best mesh you can get. You do not have to be a business to order from them. You Just anybody can order from them. They do free shipping for over $69, so um, that's a plus. And they're pretty quick. Like I can get a, an order, well, it depends on the order. Depends on what I'm trying to get. But most of their orders I can get in three to five days. So with being free shipping and then three to five days, that's pretty good. So I do order them. Yeah, Cynthia, don't order from England because it's expensive. I'm not saying that it's cheap here, but it's definitely not as expensive as it is in uh, England. Anastasia's looked it up, trying to get some for herself there, and it's a joke. Um, thanks, Cynthia. I appreciate that. Yes, I try to teach you as I'm going. I'm just doing the curls. If you guys have any questions on the curls, let me know. I'm hoping you can see it better with this new camera system. Um, and that's why I do this. I do this, well, with my injuries. As you guys know, those of you that have been with me for a bit, with my injuries that I have, um, I had a bad car wreck in November. Um, I am currently unable to do my full-time job, which I miss and love so much. I actually miss so many of my people, it's, it's killing me. Um, but I have a, a uh, tear in my rotator cuff some problems with my shoulder and have a uh, bulging disc in my back and we're hoping 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 after this week that we'll have an actual surgery date for these things so I can go back to my life hopefully I can go back to my life um, so with that being said I had to I'm a crafter been a crafter since I was five years old uh, my aunt taught me how to craft she's a phenomenal crafter and businesswoman had her own craft shop when I was little, taught me when I was little, and just kept going, and I've just been crafty since then. Uh, anyway, I um, have been, um, anyway, I've been struggling with this rotator cuff in my back. I just can't do the lifting and stuff that I've done at my job previously. Um, everybody thinks being a store manager is an easy piece of cake job and that you work your butt off to get to that job. That's not true. It depends on where you work, but most companies, you're still everything. So I um, unfortunately can't do all the things that I did right now. Hopefully I'll get my life back at some point. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me during this. My Anastasia, you're right. It's, it's wearing on this uh, left arm. Um, I'm going to tell you that um, I, well, wreaths, I've always done some kind of wreath or something, but the deco mesh ones I taught myself while I've been tooling around just being here at home and trying to keep up with the exercises that I have to do to keep my arm moving and keep my back from being too many spasms, but it's still there. Um, I've taught myself and with mentors, um, like I said, Tammy Hodges from Polka Dot Wreath Co. has been really helpful to me, Damon Oates from Deco Exchange, he's been really helpful to me and they're both my mentors and um, Damon is a is a business coach for a lot of us and so um, I've just learned from them and just learning you know learning to do other things because you get bored with the same crafts over and over um, I'm an avid scrapbooker which I always will be but I wanted to do I started out doing a wreath or two here for my home and teaching my sister and it just kept going so, um, that's why I started doing them. So, officially, probably March is when I was started doing these wreaths. I've gotten better over time, as far as I am concerned, I hope. So, guys, I'm hoping you're seeing this green pop. We're going to add more green to it, so don't worry, because it is a sliver <coughs> green. I've had a somewhat better day just with the relaxing and trying to be, um, relax with my son and talk today. Anastasia, 
Like I said, yes, this is wearing on my hands and my arm. You are welcome, Cynthia. I appreciate your um, jumping on and helping us tonight. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. You guys can do me a favor and share our page and share our videos even share right now would be great to help us get some people on tonight um i would greatly appreciate it what is what is uh deco patch anastasia anastasia says that in the united kingdom they are doing um the main craze crap Craft craze is deco patch. I don't know what that means. I've never heard of that, but I might have to look into it. <laughs> um, as always, we do do our glitter cups and we do shirts and all kinds of different things, guys. We do cooler bags, we do car decals, we do, um, gosh, all kinds of vinyl. You could, you ask, we could do it pretty much. Um, we just did a huge 18 by 20 for a gentleman on his vehicle the other day. Um, and I have to get with him because we didn't get it, the pictures that I wanted to get with it that we should have gotten. So we're going to redo it, the pictures. Um, so he said he'd meet up with me so I can get some good pictures. Um, just when they were doing the install, we didn't get quite the pictures that we wanted for it. My husband and my son do the installs for those things. I do the designing. Um, I can design while I'm laying in bed, which is a good thing. Just can't do it when I'm taking medication and I'm laying in bed, because usually I'm passed out of sleep. It's really hard to be, um, have to take pain medication to uh, function. I try not to as much as possible, but it's really hard because there's a lot of pain Hey guys, I'm going to show you a little bit how cool this is so far. We're not done, of course. So I'm just adding in this green. It kind of is snaky looking, I think. It's kind of snaky looking anyway. What do you guys think so far? Um, it's kind of cool. It's like a cool wreath. I think it makes, um, it's going to be really full of fun and pop once we get some more green in there. We're working on the, it, it's weird because this has like a delay for us. So we don't quite see everything <laughs> when it's going. So it's kind of weird. So we're still working on these um, 15 inch curls. And it's, so it's 15 inch curls. They're gonna be 15 inch pieces that are cut out of a 10 inch um, deco mesh to add the greens. So this is called, let's see, you take cut pieces of craft pattern paper and use special glue to apply it to any shape cardboard type or letters. It's kind of like wallpaper style crafts. So you cut the pattern into pieces random. Don't need to be certain size and then just apply it to them with glue. Can you make any style of wreath? This is, oh, so Anastasia, that sounds like what we do over here. It's called decoupage and it's kind of, well, it's a wood, we do wood things, and we do it on wood though. And we use craft, scrapbook paper, and we cover it with a, with a Mod Podge. But we paint the wood letters first, and then you put the Mod Podge, paper, you do paper in the shape of it, and you put it on. It's really cool, I'll have to show you sometimes some of the ones that I've done in the past. Um, but thank you, Anastasia, I'm glad that the, you like the color and the color pops. Uh, Cynthia says, can you make any style of wreath? Can somebody give you an idea for a wreath and then can you make it? Well, of course, I'm a crafter. That's what I do. So um, my, my thing is, is that I love a challenge. I've always been one of those people that loves a challenge. Um, it's always worked for me well in my career. And so I'm like that person that has usually been called in to clean a store up 
or help clean up an issue in a store, things like that in my career as a store manager. Um, yes, I can, um, I can do pretty much any read. I can make it work. So that's been my thing is just to really um, push my limits, um, especially as I'm designing, and I apologize guys. As I'm designing, I have um, been able to teach people how to do things or learn myself. Um, but yeah, I can design anything. If you want it, just tell me and we can figure it out. Um, sorry. I'm getting a spasm in my back. I can feel it. So in just a moment, we'll be standing up as soon as I can get it to go to a somewhat comfortable level. Um, anyway, so yes, I can make anything that you're looking for. <laughs> so Anastasia has asked for me to do um, some new unique cups for her and I'm pretty excited about it actually but she thinks um, she thinks that it's going to drive me crazy I know that it's going to give me a challenge and I'm going to love it uh, and I'm going to be excited when I can see what my end product is I've already been designing it on my iPad and I'm pretty excited Thanks, Anastasia. I'm trying. Um, this is why one of the things that's a problem. Um, not being able to stand too long, not being able to sit too long. Uh, we're the family that goes to Disneyland like every two months. We're just like that. And I can't be in the car that long. And so it's not okay, even an airplane ride that long. It's the pain level that comes from being in the seat too long and stuff. That's right. Challenges are what I live for, Miss Cynthia. You are right. So right here, I'm going to actually have Tyler um, fix the camera for a second for me so that we can stand up because I'm going to have to stand up. So if you can give me just a second. Wait, can you go up higher? That's okay. We're going to be adjusting. Um, with the Disney company, yes, they take care of us when it comes to those kind of things. Ah, when, uh, if you um, are a cast member. Thank you, Ty. Sorry, guys. Whoops. You just got a big view of that. So we are going to turn it this way, I think. So I'm gonna put it on my little stand. Oops, as I knock it off there. Whoops. Okay, so uh, hopefully you guys can still see this. We're gonna try and see if we can get it at a good angle so that you can still see what I'm doing. Do you have more green? How many more? I need, let's see how many greens we need. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so Tyler <laughs> happened to have those for me. I'm gonna do this a little bit differently, guys. Even Voldemort has bad days. Just kidding. Um, thanks, Cynthia. I appreciate that. I'm hoping that you guys are liking this so far. Oh, we might need maybe one more. I might have missed one. So like I said, I'm going to go open this tie. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. On the wreath. Okay. We're going to open that tie up. Tie it back in there. This one is such an easier work wreath form. I'm kind of impressed with this one. This one came from Alf Craft. Bleh. I think it was Craft Outlet. Maybe I could be wrong. Nope, this one came from Tammy Hodges, actually. She sent it to me. Um, she sent me a few. And I really like these ones.
Yeah, the passes in um, Disney World are totally different than everywhere else. But the passes that I do have, we can go to any. We can go to Disneyland Paris if we would like. We can go to pretty much any of them. Um, so right here, guys, I'm just going to go... I try to finagle. Trying to finagle, guys. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Love a challenge. Love a challenge. There you go. Snakes in. That's what these remind me of, is snakes. It's starting to look like Medusa. No, I'm just kidding. It's not going to look like Medusa when it's done, I promise. Woo! Lost their stand. Hopefully you guys are seeing this okay. Are you seeing it, Ty? Good. Okay, so you guys watch me, see me as I bend with my knees to get this rolled up. <laughs> Which you should always bend with your knees anyway, but I don't have a choice. I don't get to bend the other way like everybody else gets to. Things you take for granted. I always say that all the time. People are probably like, shut up. <laughs> okay, got that one in. Whoops. Hard to do, hard to do. Getting this snake down in here. Love the color pop they're giving us. Um, I'm I'm struggling a bit, guys, but we're gonna get through this because I am so excited to get this slither and one done. So if you're willing to stick with me, we're gonna do it. We're gonna Oh, you hear my husband in the other room? You know what he said? Suck it up, buttercup. He's so lovely. So I'm going to bend down here again. We're going to do this roll. I think that I missed one somewhere, so I'm going to check and see here. Okay. So we're going to search for uh, just a second and see what's going on. See what's happening here. So you guys, we're gonna be posting a really cute video in the next day or so too. Um, <laughs> of, the, of our little Dobby, Crystal, our smallest princess. Um, and it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a Jurassic world kind of um kind of comedy we're hoping to get the other princesses in on that but we got this really cool thing for her so um we just really wanted to have some fun with it my son and i were that was kind of our brainstorming today is to start off his channel with some funny things and anyway so so far here we go um go ahead and pan out so Tyler is helping me out. He's been over here cutting ribbon because, like I said, we were behind on that. Um, I'm going to grab the scissors really quick because we for we didn't get to duck tell anybody. Which one? Just give me a, a stack of them all. That's why the duck house. Weird that is. So, guys, I am going to show you this. Pan out. Oh, you already pan out. Guys, this is official Harry Potter ribbon. You guys can see that. This is official Slytherin House ribbon from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Can you see that? Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is actually literally very official ribbon I bought at Universal Studios. Um, it is the official house ribbon. So we're going to take this ribbon And we are going to place this, look at this one. It looks like snake. It's silver snaky kind of material. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is supposedly wired, but it doesn't look very wired. 
So it may give us some havoc, not gonna lie, okay? But it might just be draped through. It might just get draped through. Um, I'm gonna put it with this fun <laughs> ribbon here. I'm gonna first do some dovetails because I didn't do any dovetails on these. Tyler cut all my ribbon for me, which was wonderful. That snake one doesn't even want to cut. It's so weird. It's kind of like fabric. It's a weird feeling. It's kind of a weird ribbon. Thanks. You guys don't get that ribbon in, in the UK either, huh? Yeah, they only have this at Universal. I tried to order it online and it was a ridiculous amount. So when we did get to go to Universal, I picked up some because I'm like, I have Harry Potter wreaths to do. I've got to have this ribbon. And so I've gotten some other ribbon, the one I did my Hogwarts, or my, sorry, my Gryffindor wreath with that I'm actually going to be reworking. And that ribbon is not wired. And so it didn't lay as beautifully as I wanted to. Oh my gosh, it sounds like my big princess is home. Okay, so guys, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and put it on there and fold it out. Right here. You got it right. Hello! Hi, princess. My favorite song is Mr. Reed's. Oh my gosh, did your dad say to say that? Yeah, he said, he put up Mr. Reese's. Look at me. I'm Mr. Reese's. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, my Make gosh. Make a request. Get out of here. No, I've been saying Mr. Reese's no, for we're, my whole we, life. Hey, we're on live, and we're doing Harry Potter tonight. And I'm Harry Potter. You're not Harry Potter. <laughs> Hi, Jackie Boy. You don't, oh, really? Where'd you get that? Jack? Yeah, we have. Where? Where, where'd you we have get that? Um, Ollivander, Ollivander um, wands. The Ollivander, Ollivander place in Addison, our oldest princess, she has a Ollivander, she has a wand from Ollivander's. And it's Harry Potter's wand. It's Harry Potter's wand. <laughs> I said wand. Wand. <laughs> So I'm not sure about this silver. It's not as cute as I thought it was going to be, so it's kind of bugging. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. I'm not sure I love this ribbon, guys. We'll see. I mean, I love the green one. Of course I love the green one. We're going to do... Did you do the plain silver? Thank you. We're going to be doing some of these ones together. Yeah, someone's hyper. <laughs> You're right. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, she got to come home. It's time for the princess to be home, and that's all that matters to us. Uh, every other week, we get her back. And so, we... She hates being away, but that's how it works. Hello, Glenna. Nice of you to join us. So we are working on our Slytherin wreath tonight. And guys, it's going to be, it, it takes a bit for this wreath because it's worth it. So there's those fun ribbons too that we're doing. Yeah, I'm going to, I think, Anastasia. I think I'm going to be like, mm, not so much. So I'm going to put the silver on the bottom, do the green on the top on this one. That's right. Princess is home again. Where she belongs. Yep. And she'll tell you every time she gets here. I'm home. She usually yells out she's home, but she sounds like her dad had her prepped for something today to be a snot to me because they know I don't like Mr. Meeskies. <laughs> so, hmm. We're going to go here, untying again, guys. Tying. These may be a little long, and they may have to be cut down. But I wanted them longer than loose, because I didn't want to lose that. You can't always make them regrow. Yeah, I think on the big one, I'm going to go without the silver on it. 
truthfully because I'm not digging it on that one. And we might just weave it in the wreath. Yeah, these are a little large, I think. Yeah. So I'm taking out this snakeskin one and we're going to do something else with it. Bring the screen back. Okay. So, I guess it doesn't have pipe cleaners in them. Let's do two for sign. So guys, as I'm doing this, I'm going to start turning this wreath instead of me trying to go underneath it. Obviously, I can't. So one of my little tricks is just to do that. I don't always get to do that because sometimes I have the um, sign already on it. It does. Thanks, Glenna. I'm glad you like the colors. We are definitely doing a Slytherin house tonight. Um, I'm just going to use this and let it just, it's got such a beautiful color in this ribbon that I'm just using it as it is. And I know it's a little bigger than I normally use, but I have to have the official Harry Potter ribbon in it. This other one is pretty close to the team ribbons, but I had to have this kind because this one is the official Potter from the official Universal Studios movies, blah, blah, blah. So, I opened up that tie, guys. If you guys can see this, that makes it stand up a lot better without that silver. And because this ribbon is so big, it does have a harder time with even with the ribbon, with the wire in it. It struggles a bit, but it's okay. Sure. We're going to turn this wreath. I like the Harry Potter ribbon because it's beautiful on its own. The white kind of took away from its pattern without the white. It looks like it I have intertwined the house's ties into the wreath. Yep. And I think it's beautiful. I love that, that ribbon. So we're going to go without that silvery snake one right now, and we'll see what happens. So on this one, I'm going to put the silver on top. There's a Harry Potter studio tour just in the Harry Potter, just Harry Potter studios there at your um, Universal. See, we have some Harry Potter at our Universal studios, but it's very limited because there's not much room in ours. But do they have like, because they have like Hogwarts there and we can go into Hogwarts and there's a ride there. I can't ride the ride, of course, but I can go look through it as I go around on my scooter right now. Um, there is... Uh, the Flight of the Griffin. Can't ride that one either, but I have seen my kids on it. Um, that's the only two rides they have for us in our Universal Studios. Well, if my some of my kids, not even some of my kids. I guess my granddaughter and my and my uh, brother-in-law and my husband. I've seen them get on it. But um, we only have the four ride or the two rides, and it is um, literally that's it. And you get there's Hogwarts, and you get to walk in the Hogmead, and there's Ollivander's shop. Yeah, isn't it cool? Oh wow, the actual props and stuff in the movie that's cool. It's in London. Oh, there you go. That would make sense then. Yeah, I think I like that ribbon. Need to go to the edges. Give you a second. I think I like this ribbon too. Yeah, they um, they're building onto our Universal Studios right now to add more some Harry Potter stuff, but they're going to be a slow move because they don't have much room in our Universal Studios. I mean, I know in in Florida they have the Islands of Adventure, which is totally different. And that has its own little place, and that's fabulous. They're so lucky. But yeah, I'd love to go to London. I've always wanted to go to England, always, all my life since I was little. You know why? Because I loved the monkeys. The monkeys. 
don't know if anybody knows what the monkeys are, but I'm sure you guys do over there. But the monkeys, I love Davy Jones. I love Davy Jones. Hi, Cody. So I'm going to turn this guys again. Thank you for sticking with me tonight, especially those of you that are in a whole other country and it's way late for you, or early, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are going to keep going here with this silver and team stripe. Looks like my team stripe, I got it. Tyler's over there dovetailing. You guys remember what dovetailing is? I hope you can see that, dovetailing right here. Um, the dovetailing is where you fold your ribbon in half. You go from the folded point up towards the wire and snip it. Whoops, and you drop it in your wreath. And it makes that beautiful dovetail right there. You were looking at room prices in Manchester. Well, I'll tell you what. If you were looking for those, Mr. Slocum, let me just tell you. For one, I'm not sure that I can make it out there with that back. Um, but I would love you forever. However, uh, I think Anastasia and Kat would be like, oh my gosh, she's here. <laughs> we would have to meet up at some point with them. Hello. Totally wrong movie. Wrong movie. I don't know if you guys can see crazy face over here. I have a dinosaur and I would like to eat you. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't crab me. You know better. Did you guys see that crazy dinosaur that just ate my arm? It's pretty cute, but... You don't talk to me like that. So the Harry Potter strips are how long? 14 inches? All of the ribbon is 14 inches long. I'm probably going to be changing them out a little bit. Oh, there's the littlest. There's Dobby. Bring Dobby in. If we can show Dobby, I'm gonna show you guys Dobby here real quick, right here. Um, it'll, it takes a minute for it to catch up here, but this is Dobby. Say hi, Dobby. Say hi. Not Nana. Say hi. Say hi, guys. I don't know if you guys can see why we call this little one Dobby. She is the cutie patootie. She is cute. Who? Um, this is Dobby's. She's our little Dobby. We call her Dobby all the time. We love her to death. Say, can you say hi? Say hi. Say hi, everyone. This is Dobby. The I might get away. Dobby. I might get a get away with put, making her be Dobby for Halloween. We don't know. Hi, I'm Justin. Thinking about it. <laughs> so that's Dobby. Bye-bye. And her mom. Mm -hmm. So, um, Bye. oh, you guys think she's so cute. Thank you. Does she look like Dobby, though? Look at her. This is Dobby. Hi, Dobby. There's your Nana, huh? Your Nana kisses? Yes, that's my little Dobby. She's a cutie patootie. And say bye-bye before I grab my wreath. Yep. I, I oh, was the one... Doing the dinosaur. She's my dinosaur. I apologize, guys. It's a crazy night tonight. Yeah. Princess is home and things go yeah, crazy. Yeah, because the, the dinosaur wrecked our house down. Oh, the dinosaur wrecked our house down, apparently. That's why we have to live at somebody's house. <laughs> Be Ted. Thanks. They are super sweet. So, um, yes, I'm I do need to. I'm always sweet. Funny you would say that, Anastasia. You'll be surprised when you see some things. So right here, I'm just pinching this big Harry Potter ribbon. This is the Slytherin House ribbon, of course, from Universal Studios. And right here in the background, I don't know if you guys can see him. He just stepped into the room. This is the I official know, princess maker. Oh, Hi. wait, can you see the official princess maker? I'll make it bigger. This is my official princess maker over here, guys. It's a family night in here. Um, this is the official princess factory right here. Doing my job for princess at a time. That's right. Building the kingdom, 
with one princess at a time. Hopefully next we'll be friends. He's hoping. Um, the last one was, of course, Dobby. Hopefully. That's the last one for a long time. <laughs> but yeah, this is my oldest. This is Cody. He's the one that's going to be starting his own YouTube channel. No, I was reading through the comments. I was watching it a minute ago. I really like the one comment about doing a Jurassic Park race next. Ooh, that would be cool. That'd be way cool. I didn't... Who said that? I missed it. It was actually me, but it said three friends at Thumb Decor. <laughs> I just thought that'd be a cool one to tackle. Yeah, a cool one to tackle. He wants me to tackle that. <laughs> Anastasia's laughing Absolutely. at you. So Anastasia's the one that gets me the signs and stuff. She is... Uh, it's probably currently like, what time is it now for you, Anastasia? 2 a.m.? Somewhere around there? She's packing up people's packages. Oh, well, maybe she can help me out. What are you looking so for? So, I have a very special job for you, Anastasia. So, my favorite football team is the Jacksonville Jaguars. And unfortunately, she's I'm in the UK. Missing. I live kind of far away from but apparently England really loves them because they're always the ones that go over there and play at least one game in England. I know there's an actual store for them in England. Is that true? And if it is, um, get in contact with my mom and let me know what's out there because I need some more Jack stuff. Ah, uh, please. And I, um, from what I've seen... She says, it's 218. She likes your shirt. Thank you. Um, and she's, Anastasia says, I don't know what she's, oh, that's Kat. She's falling asleep. <laughs> Are they like Jersey? She's asking. Pretty like, much anything. Just let me know what's out there. Cause from my mom showed me what you have and stuff out there in um, England. It's a lot different than what we get here. And there, I'm all about being unique and different. And stuff. So I'm just looking much for Much dribble? Is that what you're, what's going on with you, Kat? Are you okay? Oh, <laughs> on your mom's phone <laughs> i was like what is going on cat <laughs> but yeah um just pretty much anything i just want some, nothing with blake Boros on it because he's the worst quarterback in history well <laughs> i will talk with anastasia about that yeah. when we're talking so guys when you're doing this wreath just so you can see um it's got nine ties around it so you're going to see that it's going to duplicate and i'm going to duplicate right here with the with the harry potter ribbon because that's going to be the bottom of my wreath I'm going to flip it over. Oh, I'm losing Dobby. It's okay. Dobby's fine. Do you want her back in? I, I can't hold Dobby, so it won't matter. No. Do you want her back in? Though? No, she's okay. She can come back at the end. Maybe Harry will come with her. What are they called again, Chef? What? The Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh. Okay, guys. So we're doing uh, that. Maybe Harry will come and surprise us. So, um, okay, so if you see that, like I said, that's going to be the bottom of the wreath because I've got two of the, of the ribbons together that are the same. Like I said, I'm going to probably go back and cut these ones up because they're a little bit long. She'll check her photos in really quick and see if she can clean up Jersey Style shirts from the other day. She'll look and see. That'd be really cool. I think I'd love you a lot, Anastasia, if you could do that for me. Anastasia's pretty awesome. Her and her mom are pretty awesome people. It's just it's so hard to find something that's not already out here. And you know me. I know. So, Tyler, can you hand me the Slytherin sign, please? Cody, do you want to come step in here really quick and, yeah. and do this for me? No, I do. So we're going to go ahead real quick, and we're going to do the, um, I'm going to show you how I do the ties on my sign. Because with this sign, unfortunately, the, the ribbons that they put on them doesn't work. So Cody is going to, okay, that's fine, Anastasia. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, cut off the ribbon because it doesn't work for what we do. We're going to go ahead and cut that ribbon off. And Cody is going to staple a new tie for me on it. I'm trusting you to staple I that. know. Do we have those ties? I'll lose it. I don't know which TV. ones you want. There's these ones. On, on live TV. This is getting badly. <laughs> it's getting badly. Okay, yeah, so we're going to take these two guys. Can you pan down, Ted? Okay. 
She says she knows she has Jurassic Park for sure. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll have Mom get in touch with you about that stuff because I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. Actually, a little tidbit of information: we went, me and my wife went to go see the new Jurassic Park last night. They can't and see it, your face. Oh, unfortunately, it but it's matter. okay. Unfortunately, it was so sold out that we were literally getting ready to turn the drive in. The guy came and told me it was sold out. And so I have still yet to see the brand new one, and it's really ticking me off because I spent all week looking forward to it. Okay, so right here, guys, we're just putting pipe cleaners on the back of this here. Is that where you want them? Yep, and you're just going to staple right over. Yeah, put that we'll right on that. Yeah, I know how to staple. Okay, just be careful. You want it right in the middle of that sign? Yeah. So Cody's going to go ahead and staple those sign. Oh, that makes a nice bang. Oops, I stuck to the table. It's not stuck to the table. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. Well, sometimes I just can't. But it, you're fine. I think it's pretty thick enough that it didn't stick to the table. What are you doing? Oh, oh that one's getting a sheer staple. Hang right. on. Looks like the staple gun. Might be out. Oh, you just had it stuck. Now you're good. Oh, oh, there's one jammed in it. He's got a jam staple, so we're going to fix that real quick. Yeah. Clint's phone died. Darn it. Yes, I have Tyler and Cody help me out today. Um, like I said, things get rough. There we go. Thank you so much. I can't do those hard kind of things. I can't do those hard kind of things because it um, hinders me. So we're gonna we're gonna go back down. Oh, guys, because I'm gonna sit again because I'm dying here. Not really dying, but um, so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to work on this sign. I'm gonna need your help. Yep. Cody's like already bending down, waiting to help me, which is wonderful. We're going to be putting, um, you should tie it to the where he's going to count the stand, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Not the stand. It would be kind of funny. Not so much. We're going to be putting our, um, sign on. Hold on. This is upside down. So we're going to roll this back the other way. You're back. <laughs> I do have wonderful helper, Cynthia. Thank you for noticing. My boys are good. Like I said, this is a family business. And so sometimes it takes a family <laughs> to do it all. Okay, so this is the direct bottom. Um, the reason I knew, Cynthia, is right here. Is because I did a double, I did double, because it's nine ties on a work frame, on nine ties in, and I think it's nine on the inside too. Nine on the outside though. And so when I was doing every other, I had to have two next to each other. So I did two of the team official Harry Potter ribbon. And I just made that my bottom. <coughs> yeah, not with a duck on him, Anastasia, but I'll show you. I'll send you a picture of what I'm what he's looking for. So Cody, we're gonna go into the frame here. We're gonna Where go to this second. She just was looking to see what was available right now. So do you see right there? Yeah, I do. Do I have a beauty or something in here? There she is. Um, so to the top notch or the bottom? So is it, we're going to tie it around this. Oh, what did it come through? Right here. Oh, I thought it came through the bottom there. There it comes through here. Here, I got it. Just let me check. Okay. Yeah, the double ribbons. That's what I was doing. Okay. Guys, it's a family event tonight. I apologize. We're going to center this. Kind of. We're going to put this down through this one. You can pull it through. Just make sure that's the holes that kind of. Yeah. Just pull it in. Up in this one. I know. Believe it or not, I have crafted with you before, Mother. <laughs> Cody um, is so funny. When he was younger, he used to craft with me all the time. He used to paint. He'd do everything. He was cool. It, well, it's not that he was cool. He's cool now. But he um, painted, he did everything that I did. He scrapbooked. I have a little scrapbook that he did when he was younger. Pull that a little tighter, sweetheart. Which one? The bottom one? one? The bottom one, yeah. Okay, hang on, I gotta unwrap. You have to pull them both tighter. 
things go into the reason. I thought it was done, so I started no. tying it. So I'm hoping, guys. Oh, you've been trying to get the Jurassic Park tops for you and you can't get them? Wait, what? Oh, for her, there's not extra small. She's so teeny. Anesthesia is super teeny. Oh. And so she's, the smallest she's been able to get is this, is just small in men's, and that's not too, that's not small enough for her. Well, I'll make an even trade. You find me a cool one that's my size, I'll find an extra small for you out here, and then we'll just trade. Because for some reason, Thanks, Cynthia, small. you're right. Families are everything. She says, never apologize for your family being involved. It adds to the realism of the live feeds. Yep, we are, like I said, we're a family business. This is what we do. And so, um, Three Princess Home Decor, I'm gonna go to that side a little bit more though. Yeah, this thing's it's getting pulled over. Um, Three Princess Home Decor is all about being a family business. It really is. And our motto is personalizing your world. The reason we say that is because we are here to make sure that everything for you is personalized. People have weird names, people have different desires. And we wanna um, make sure that family is important Weird name thing is and that uh, we know about weird names we do so we want to make sure that you can get things that are personalized we do all that stuff um my daughter-in-law's name is carter and if you looked at it if you sounded it out it would sound like it would look like car tire it's actually k-a-r-t-y-r -R. um you're not going to find her name on anything you just don't um my i have a sister named glana you can't find it hold on one second on anything. It's got to go to the right a little. Um, Anastasia says, am I the only one with a weird name? No. No. Actually, you have a very uncommon name that I've only heard in a Disney movie. No, and then also in Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't want to. <laughs> That's not my cup of tea. <laughs> but, um, okay. That's pretty good for now. Okay. And of course, guys, you know that we always go back and fluff and readjust at the end of the feeds um, when we can get them down on the floor or not on the floor, on the table and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and show you. <laughs> the only stuff that has Anastasia's name on it, she really doesn't want to walk around with that on a, on a movie t-shirt. <laughs> I can't imagine what movie that would be. What do you say? Why do you do this to me? I was all getting ready to buy a Gryffindor one, and now I'm getting ready to buy a Slytherin one too. Uh oh, he wants a Slytherin one too. And I'm gonna be the same way when you made Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. So we are um, in a moment. I'm gonna add some more ribbon, guys. Oh, that's cute, Anastasia Josephine. That's a cute name, Cynthia. It's your neighbor girl's name. Um, I was gonna do some little snakes. You guys see how these snakes are? We did a black one. We did a black one for today. Okay. We did a black one. We're going to be putting some snakes in. I'm going to put some more ribbon in. Guys, you know me. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, due to the pain level that's going on right now, I'm going to be cutting this kind of short. I can tell right now. Um, not short, but I mean, we'll finish it off line and then we will post the picture of it at the end of our live so you guys will see it those of you that joined us today i don't think i like the black or the green ones so much i think these white ones and stuff are pretty cool though does that totally scream slither into you parcel tongues i love uh i love how cody went and painted these snakes for me today yeah i think they're going to really add to this and i think i need a little bit more green i really i was worried i had too much green that's why i went with some of the colors i did I'm feeling like it needs a little bit more to it. The girl, the girl in Starbucks didn't know how to spell Anastasia, so she put Stacy. That's awesome. That's not even the same name. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna add just a bunch of snakes into this and make it more um, crazy for the uh, Slytherin. Go ahead and back this off. Okay. These are not official Harry Potter snakes. These are officially Walmart snakes that were painted today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking probably five. I know that sounds like a weird number, but.
but you're supposed to, you should always do like an odds like an odds of snakes or odds of your numbers um and i'm really thinking that i like <laughs> they are not official harry potter that cracks me up cynthia very good um no unfortunately i wish i could have got some official harry potter snakes but i didn't get any um we're going to be wrapping this one up on our offline what was that Official Walmart item. Yeah, official Walmart snakes. Um, <laughs> but hey, officially, Cody, my oldest, painted those today. So I am very proud of him. Um, he helped me out with it. And now he just told me that he needs to buy this wreath also. Yeah, you should put, in your embellishments, you should have odd numbers. Um, that's one of the things. Um, and I'm going to go through and add more ribbon, guys. But one of the things that you should do when you're doing a wreath, um, or even when you're doing a scrapbook page or something like that, you should be doing those odd numbers. And the reason is that it draws to the eye more than when you do evens. It sounds really silly, but um, the reason that you do the odd numbers is like I said, it draws to the eye. Because our eyes are used to seeing things, you know, and what happens is when it's something's odd, it catches it differently. It, catch, it goes, wait, wait, that's not right. And then it, and then it, then you compute it as a person. But when you're doing, um, so when you're doing things that are visual, um, you should do them in odd numbers. You should always kind of do that odd, odd number rule of thumb. Uh, you can do them in evens, but it just pops to the eye more when it's an odd number. I know that sounds really dumb, but it is just one of those facts as a creator that you learn and that you know as you know when you're when you're creating all the time. Um, so hopefully that's a tip that you guys didn't know. Uh, like I was telling you guys, I actually, um, I did not have the time today when we find the found the materials that we wanted to use to do what we were going to do. We were actually going to make a wand for Voldemort, just a smaller version of it, because uh, I wanted a wand on this. And I did pick up Harry Potter wands that I can put on my other, on my Gryffindor wreath. And I also got the glasses today and I was so excited because I wanted to, um, I wanted to embellish that one a little bit more and make it look better. Um, I mean, I have the bludger ball in it, but I wanted to also add to it. So I'm gonna be re reworking the Harry Potter wreath, the Gryffindor wreath to make it look better also. So these two will be up um, on our Etsy page, but we'll also post them on our page. But I wanted to um, let you guys know that I'm gonna to try to fabricate a, a um, Voldemort wand in a technique I learned because I'm weird and I like to learn techniques and you know when you are laying down on pain medication or on a heating pad or ice pack or things like that you kind of learn some things that you can do I mean like I said I can't be as mobile as I used to be which is awful for me um, so when I have that time and I'm I'm able to focus I research and I do research all the time and I learn new techniques and then I try those techniques or I tell my husband and he tries those techniques and that's where like our hydro painting came with our cups and different things like that. So it's something that we are always doing. We're always evolving and learning and, and all that. Um, so you just, if you don't keep your mind going, you lose that. I can tell you that I feel like I'm losing who Amy was. So um, the person that I am now is not the person I was 11, or back in November. Uh, and I miss that person. And so for me, It makes it super difficult to try to be that powerhouse and not be able to be as mobile as it was at that powerhouse. I believe I'm a powerhouse. I believe, I've believed that for a lot of years and I know who I am and I know what kind of manager I can be and the person I am and the kind of parent and grandma, nana that I am. So being a powerhouse and being a control freak and being a workaholic, you focus that energy on something else when you can't do those things. Anyway, I'm going to cut this short. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much and share us out as much as you possibly can. Um, I appreciate all your work. And if there's anything, if you guys have any questions or anything tonight, uh, I'll give you a couple minutes before we cut this off. Um... Yeah, 
yeah, I can definitely teach you that technique with the wand. Um, we can do that on another live. Um, I'm gonna not be able to finish that tonight, unfortunately. Uh, thank you, Anastasia. <laughs> you do have to be broken in order to be put back together. You're right. Um, appreciate all of you guys that tune in to us. We do our best and we try really, really hard um, to do the best for you guys. And like I said, our business is Three Princess Home Decor and More. And uh, <laughs> Cynthia, you're right. You have worked with me for a number of years. And you do know I am a workaholic and I'm very detail oriented. So, and I love knowledge and I love learning. So anyway, um, I'm going to... I'm going to cut this short though, but we're Three Princess Home Decor and more. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we will see you on Wednesday night, 6 o'clock. I will post a picture of what our next wreath or project may be. Thanks so much.